As a price action trader, my goal is to understand what the candles on a chart are telling me. And right now the structure of this market is indicating a trend range. We can see move up, move down, move up, move down. Very unclear bias overall. This means I'm trading some form of a trend range. I'm going to be following short term channels for the most part. But right now the bias is quite unclear for me. I would like to see some established trend or I would like to see price action to reach either one of these extremes. All right, traders, actually I'm going to zoom in the video because we have a failed breakout and visual second entry while the downtrend needed a new extreme the ema held so nicely it dropped lower it didn't even tick back so you can see there's a little gap so i'm gonna chase it a little bit okay we haven't made scalp yet and we made the scalp so i need to cancel the order okay so this setup was you can see before micro congestion you want to train your eyes to see all the nuances the price action gives you we have five six bars stacked right next to each other congestion and most breakouts will fail this is a small version of a trend range we broke higher this uptrend played out with the break and the new extreme and our downtrend got established and ema the key entry point rejected prices so this is a failed breakout and a visual two like a pullback second entry short at the key entry point while the downtrend needed new extreme so price session rules aligned i was a little bit too slow but i'm afraid that even if i acted quickly because of the gap you needed to be really fast here to even catch this so decent setup but it was too fast. I'm redrawing to slightly wider channel because if I'm going to use the measured move, you can see I'm going to measure the first leg, copy it. The second leg has its target here. Now we may not fully reach it because there's a train range, but there's a big chance. And I have geometric formation of these highs nicely gliding here. So for this reason, I'm expecting for price action to create a new law of this bigger downtrend. We adapted. This was a quite a strong spike, so I definitely cannot sell just yet. Let's see if there's going to be some nice high probability setup. Right, traders, I'm resuming the video as I entered a second entry short of the trend line. It was slightly above the EMA, but because the downtrend is new low, this is a new low. We have a first entry short, pullback, second entry short. The bar looked very bullish, and at the close of the bar, it completely reversed down, which is indicating a great bearish momentum. So this is a second entry short of the key entry point, and I expect price session to continue working lower, reach the second move down as we expected, good signal bar. It's above EMA, but it's not that big of a deal here because the key entry point is coming into play and allowing us to sell where the correction phase will end and a brand new push phase should begin. So you can see the bar is not that big. I'm going for a take target profit. All right, we got filled. So I'm going to instantly move it to break even because anything we made is just a bonus. I scalped six contracts as my main portion and I'm leaving one contract as a runner in case market does something unexpected. I'm not going to be too greedy here though. I'm going to leave it somewhere around this area because this is a trend range. This is not a strong downtrend by any means. I want to keep myself open and I'm going to take runner around these lows and I'm not going to be too greedy. This is going to be around, you know, seven points. This is going to be a fantastic runner if we get it. First trade for the day, nice second entry short off the key entry point. The high brought this setup till I get pulled back here, till I get pulled back here. All right, traders and our runner just got hit. I have a small break in your extreme, but... This trend line could be easily a little bit wider, but I need more information because we are trading a trend range and you want to be really careful drawing it too wide. So I'm not looking to go long just yet. This is quite a distinct bearish pressure. So I'll be monitoring the bearish momentum and I'll adapt to a slightly wider channel if needed, because if I'm going to widen it, it basically doesn't distort the price session at the top at all. So this is a good sign the channel could be a little bit wider. So we'll see. So even the wider downtrend played out with the break new extreme. So this is why we follow the price session rules. You have a strong bullish push to the upside. You can see the measured move was to reach exactly to the very tick. So price action is absolutely and utterly calculated. Nothing happens randomly in markets. Everything has its purpose. This is why if you devote your time studying price action, you can develop a skill that will last a long time. Right now we have an uptrend with the break and double top. So it looks like buyers are considering this new extreme because we have quite a distinct push down. I'm not so sure about the bias now because downtrend played out, but we keep pushing lower consistently. This is the area where it is not so clear, but if you're swift today, you can manage to get a two easy high priority setups and be done. We unfortunately missed this one, so we only got this one right here. All right, so the bullish trend played out with the break new extreme. We have a new high first entry loan pullback, second entry loan failure, but it's a little bit too big, three and a half points. I'm not really sure if I really want to take it just yet. It is very tempting, but if we get a micro second entry short, I would definitely consider.
Because this is a strong bullish spike and EMA keeps holding every single time, I'm drawing a spike and a channel. It also fits nicely off of these highs, but the continuous EMA rejections make me think that, okay, we have probably a spike and a wider uptrend. So far, I didn't really see good setups around this area. There were three good setups today so far. This was pretty lackluster area, no good setup, but hopefully this spike and a channel is the right pattern and we can get some nice setup at the EMA. We had overshoot which can generate stronger momentum to the opposite direction and because overshoot reversed the market retraced too far down i redrew wider downtrend i was looking for a second entry short here but this second entry short form far from the ema i wanted to form closer so i didn't take and now i can see that the price action form another second entry short but the signal bar has bullish body i was waiting for low high but low high has a horrible tail at the bottom so my last chance is a failed second entry long. We have a nice fell breakout above the congestion with the breaking new high while the downtrend is new low. But the fell breakout bar never triggered below its low. I was ready to take it but as you can see it stalled and never triggered right below this bearish bar. So for this reason I'm waiting and I'm thinking about lower high. The reason why I'm thinking bearish because this downtrend needs to get new extreme. So this is why I'm just looking for right signal bar and opportunity for me to sell. Unfortunately this bearish bar didn't trigger straight away. All right, traders, I just came back from a break and we can see that our initial downtrend had a break and small pushes to new extreme. And because price action kept continue working lower, this begs the question if there is a possibility for wider downtrend. And in fact, you can see it fits nicely off of these highs. Your main confirmation comes around this area because we came back, tested the breakout area. We have clear two leg up pullback, first leg up, break, second leg up, break new extreme. We have nice lower high confirmation setup and this was the point where the downtrend started. So I'm playing the wider downtrend right now and looks like we evolved into a nice downtrend. So this is the important area which told you that there is still continuous bearish bias. You wait for it to like a pullback to play out and if there is a lower high confirmation setup, turning the support into resistance, this is what you want to see. We are breaking the channel. So right now I'm looking for felt second entry along because the downtrend needs to get new extreme. There was a decent breakout pullback lower high which I should have taken. But it formed with a bullish signal bar, so you need to use double bar entry. Regardless, now we're observing a break. So let's see if we can get some nice high probability setup because the downtrend needs to get new extreme. There is a last chance for some second entry short at the EMA because downtrend played out with the break new extreme. We are entering a brand new market cycle, EMA flatten. We have consistent price swings up and down, up and down through the EMA. So I'm predicting possible consolidation because this trend down was so strong. So straight reversal is not the likely, but there was no lower high or any other setup below the EMA market just dropped. Same thing that happened here, even though we can read the price session correctly now, just there are no pullbacks. So only V-shaped moves doesn't really happen often, but something I have to deal with today. All right, traders, so I'm going to wrap it up with my one trade. Price action offered three nice setups at the beginning of the session. But as a trader, you need to understand that there are areas on the chart where price action is just developing and the bias is not clear. This is what's exactly happening around this area. You're not really supposed to be looking to sell or buy because the bias is not clear. We keep making lower highs, but at the same time, there's support where buyers may come into the market. Eventually, the failed breakout forum buying pressure increase. And I can see that the EMA keeps rejecting every single time. So this brings me to potentially spike in a channel. We have a two like a pullback at the EMA. Problem is we would be buying at the very top of the move. The single bar is almost five points big. So most of the move has already been reached on our scalp. So we can't really go long at the top of the move like this. Overshoot, important phenomenon in price action. Once you see overshoot, you can expect stronger momentum in the opposite direction this is indeed what happened and if i'm going to zoom back i can see that we have small trend range right here flat ema which also added the selling pressure when i'm looking for channels as you know i'm going to go back a little bit earlier you can see geometric formation of these highs allow me to spot the channel and i'm going to look at the same thing right here i have geometric formation of these highs three swings right at the very beginning so this is a good clue for me to spot the right channel. It got confirmed here. Now there was a second entry short, but it is a little bit more advanced because it's forming quite low. You know, body is not fully touching the EMA and notice you have very strong one bullish 
spike up above EMA. So you really want the second entry short to form a bit better. Then we had a felt breakup, which I talked about. Unfortunately, there was no trigger and price action went a little bit sideways with slightly aggressive lower high because this downtrend still needed a new extreme. I want to talk about this because this is what set the stage for why the downtrend to be established. You can see how nice it fits off of these highs. But once those two legs form so broad with the clear break new high and this support transform into resistance, that's a sign that the bearish trend will begin. And I didn't even realize this because I wasn't here trading live on my break, but there was no tick below this lower high, not even this setup right here. So even though we're expecting to sell, there was no break below this bar, no break below this bar, at least on my chart, the way my tick chart right now is set up. So unfortunately we cannot really enter, but next time you see this, you definitely want to sell here because that's the great confirmation setup to like a pullback and bearish buy started back below EMA. And then price action kind of consolidated. I marked two setups, breakout pullback. I would say this is a little bit more aggressive given the fact that the single bar was bullish, but it is breakout pullback in a bearish downtrend. And this was pretty much it for the We expect new extreme, but there was no lower higher felt second entry long for us to capitalize on it. By the time we get it, it's too far down here, too far down here. We can't really take it. And this is pretty much it for today. So this is the overall picture for the day. I hope you had a good training day. I'm going to wrap it up. And I'm going to talk to you next time. Good luck with your trading.